To other news now, and the president of Suriname has been sentenced to 20 years in prison for murder. Desi Buterse was convicted of killing 15 political opponents in 1982. The courts ruled that Buterse oversaw an operation to have them abducted and killed. Now, he's currently out of the country on an official trip to China. The military court that found him guilty on Friday has not ordered his arrest and the president can appeal the sentence. Now, Buterse led Suriname through the 1980s as head of a military government. The court ruled that during this time, he was in charge of an operation which lawyers, in which lawyers, journalists and university professors were seized from their homes and killed. Well, one individual survived the attack and testified before the trial, which began some 12 years ago. Buterse and his supporters have repeatedly tried to stop the proceedings. They even passed a law to grant him immunity, a law which was later invalidated. Now, in 1999, a Dutch court convicted the president in absentia on drug trafficking charges, charges that Buterse has denied. Well, let's get more on this story. Rosmarin Hofter is, the, is a professor of history of Suriname at the University of Amsterdam and joins us now on Skype from Amsterdam itself. Uh, good to have you with us on the programme. This is a rather unusual case, is it not? It's the sort of thing that would bring down any other leader. So, so, so given this, do you think this is the end for Buterse? Um, thank you for having me. I'm not sure this is going to be the end for Buterse, at least not yet. Um, he has been very cunning in staying in power. He has been the most powerful man in Suriname, arguably, since 1980, behind and before the scenes. And I think he is coming back tomorrow. He will be landing, according to plan, at 4 a.m. in the morning. And his party has called to um, uh, receive him and bring him in triumph to the capital. Um, so I, I guess we'll be waiting to see what happens when he, he comes back for China. But it's unusual, is it not, that the military haven't issued a warrant for his arrest, even though he has been found uh, guilty of, 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 of these crimes. How would you explain that? I think the uh, judges in this case, all female, by the way, uh, were are afraid of a civil unrest or maybe even a civil war type situation. So they don't want to go too far. And you have to remember that Bautese, despite all these allegations, has never been a day in jail or has been arrested before, nor has he testified in court. Um, well, if the, 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 the military were perhaps af uh, afraid of civil unrest arising from this, um, d does this suggest that the, the president enjoys quite widespread popular support? Because these are quite staggering charges, orchestrating a campaign of rounding up 15 of your political opponents and having them murdered. Uh, is, there, is, there, is the country split on this case or, or does the president enjoy quite a lot of support? I think it's safe to say that the country is split on this case. He has support. He has a very well-organized party. Um, he is the president. He is elected democratically. And you shouldn't forget, Suriname, first of all, is a small country. Less than 600,000 people live there. And secondly, many of these inhabitants are young. They were not there. They were not born yet when these December killings in 1982 happened. So they don't have an active memory. So there, there is this split about people being for or against Bautis, but also younger people who just have no memory of this. And, and just finally, what does this case say about democracy and the rule of law in uh, Suriname? Well, it is a triumph, I think, for the rule of law and that justice can be done. This has taken very long. You mentioned it's, it started in 2007. There was even a pre-trial before that. So this has been more than 12 years in the making. So this is a triumph for the state of law. OK, Rosemary and Hoft, I'm afraid we'll have to leave it there, but great to get your thoughts and analysis on this case. Uh, Rosemary and Hoft, joining us live from Amsterdam. Thank you.